He was only five weeks old when prosecutors say little Noah Clark was killed by his father. Today, new disturbing details in the courtroom about the baby's injuries. We've learned he had several skull fractures, bleeding, swelling in the brain, as well as the bruising to his face and to his head. Stephanie Langston back in the Manchester courtroom today for Gavin Clark's murder trial, and she joins us now live with the latest. Well, much of the day spent hearing from medical doctors, one saying this case was so traumatic that he actually considered changing careers after 35 years in his field. We also saw new graphic photos of the bruising and abrasions Noah Clark had when he was brought to the hospital. Images too disturbing, of course, to show you here. Now, Gavin Clark, 21 years old at the time of the incident in 2020, claims he tripped and fell, dropping his son down the stairs. The state's witnesses continuing to focus on how the father's story does not match with the infant's injuries and pointing out how Gavin showed little to no emotions in the emergency room as doctors quickly decided that the baby needed to be flown to Vanderbilt. Today I spoke with Gavin's sisters for the first time who explained that their family grieves privately. At the time of transport, um, you know, she hovered over the child, kissed the child. Um, the father was somewhat reluctant to even kiss the child at the time to when we load up on a helicopter. They continuously say how he's emotionless, but we usually grieve in alone. Yeah. Um, we don't usually show our emotion out in public, but he definitely feels for everything that's happening. I mean, mm -hmm. he he doesn't, he's not emotionless. He he knows what's going on. And yeah, definitely on our phone calls, he, he pours his heart out to me and we talk about how he feels, but in public, he really just keeps it in. Well, Gavin's sisters admitting they are hearing new disturbing details that they had not heard before. However, they say they are sticking by their older brother and saying that this was just a tragic accident. I'll have more on that part of the story coming up on News 2 at 5. Reporting live from Manchester, Stephanie Langston, News 2.